the season and whatnot. You know, we had injuries, you know, Key and DJ. And I mean, we scheduled a, a, a very tough non-conference schedule. I mean, for, I mean, 98 something, like, you know, like it was, it was a very tough non-conference, non, non-conference schedule. So, you know, that's how we like it, you know, and that's how we, we want to get prepared for the league. You know, we're, we're not running around just playing, you know, light teams, you know, so that really gets us prepared and ready for days like today and just our league in general. Yeah, you talked about the non-conference schedule. Like, you know, going through a schedule like that, you know, people say it can either make or break teams. You know, some teams could fold if they had to deal with that much, you know, adversity and just playing really tough teams and, you know, not stringing the wins together. How were you guys able to kind of, you know, grow from that and, and turn it into a seven-game winning streak? Yeah, we're, we're a really tough-minded team. You know, we pride ourselves always on defense and rebounding. You know, so uh, going against better, bigger, better, you know, teams, you know, and just teams that just – just were more prepared at that, at that time, you know, really helped us out in, in situations like this. And, you know, we just, we always stay confident and know and know how good of a team we are. And, you know, just remember, remembering what we can do and what we will do, you know, so that's, that's all, that's all we try to focus on, just staying confident and just getting better day by day. And we all, we knew the wins would come around. Travis, what does it mean to see um, less healthy players like Mike, uh, Matt and you know Chris come in the game and get their minutes. You see the bench kind of uh, pretty pumped up when they got in after Mike had it done. What does that mean as teammates for you guys? I mean that's definitely really big because I know they work hard every day just like some of the more elder players do. So to see them get a chance to play some good minutes and play well is real big for us and their confidence too going on in the season. Yeah, we talk about getting off to the big start early, you know, putting your, putting your foot on these guys early. You had a good start. Wait, can you repeat that? No, just talk about getting off to a good start today. Oh, um, well, Keith, I mean, some of our keys this game was just to come out and get better. Like, we know UMBC is not one of the better teams in the league, but we take it just like we play in Stony Brook or Vermont. Like, it's just the next game on the schedule, so we just want to get out play the best, best basketball that we can, so... We had to jump out on them, you know, make our statement. Thank you. You, know, you didn't shoot, have a great shooting first half. Um, how did you deal with that? What was your mindset going into the second half? Well, I wasn't really too flustered by it. I mean, just keep just keep shooting, you know. If you're if you're open shot, if you have open shots, you know, you know some of the shots in the first half were just like they were just wide open, and it's just like. You know, it's a little frustrating, but I mean, you I mean, that's basketball. You miss make make shots. The thing about it is just staying confident and knowing that the next one's going down, even if it doesn't. You know, the next one is. Would you rather not have the new post, not have them right now, you know, not have that kind of a miss? Would you rather miss badly than miss like that? Yeah, man, I hate those ones. Yeah, I'd just rather miss the whole backboard like I did the second half. You know, I'd rather I'd rather miss one like that than the, than those just the close ones, the close layups and stuff like that. You know, those are real frustrating ones. But you know, that's that's all we have. You know, our focus on attitude and stuff, just having a positive attitude at all times, you know. So if that does happen, you know, you turn the ball over, anything happens, you know, you just, you know, the next play, you know, your teammates support you and, you know, coaching staff supports you to go out and make a good decision and keep shooting. Travis, coming into the game, I believe it was over the last five games, Daryl's been averaging 17 points per game in the second half. Is there kind of a feeling like he's just going to get going at some point, you know, um, yeah. after he's th- that many second halves in a row like that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we depend on Daryl a lot, so like we know like if we don't have a good first half, he's gonna come out in the second half on fire. But we know we're gonna get started. But I guess we didn't really have to today because everybody pretty much pitched in today, so we didn't have to you know be that dominant player that he usually he usually is in the second half. So I know you guys wouldn't say it before the game, obviously, but now that this game is over, you guys took care of business. You're looking ahead to Stony Brook. That looks like a very big game on the schedule Friday. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it's next game on our schedule. You know, that's how we, that's not really our motto, how we take it every game, you know. And now we can really, like, focus in on them, you know, look at some of the mistakes we made last time playing them and just get better and just, just get ready to come out with a lot of energy. I know it's going to be a good environment up there, and they're, we're a very, very good team, uh, you know, and we'll be ready to go. How different will it be playing them on the road as opposed to here in at the U, is it will it be? You think it'll it'll change the way that you play, or it will change the way that they come out, or anything? Well, I mean, 
it may change the way for them, but I mean, for us, I really don't think so. I mean, we like uh, go back to our non-conference schedule. We didn't play home at all. You know, I believe it was maybe at one point we had four home games out of like 14 games. You know, and like it was just we're so used to being on the road, and that's how we schedule stuff like that. Just, just always constantly on the road. You know, because we know that's the toughest environment with the crowd, the reps. You know, and you know the other team being amped up. You know, so we'll, we won't change too much for us. We'll be ready to play. Anything else for the guys?